Okay, this week we are going to work on a texture lesson. So we're going to talk about texture, which is all about how the way things feel, how they look like they feel, things like fur or brick or the sidewalk or your sweater. Everything has a different texture. Everything feels a different way. So we are going to think of different textures and we're going to figure out how we can put them into an artwork. So the first thing I want you to do is I want you to go around your house and find some different stuff. Maybe your pencil case has a texture on it. The bottom of your shoe has a texture on it. The walls in your house might have a texture on them. So you're going to find all different things that you can take and make different textures of. So I've done so on this paper and all I did was I found different textures and I took my crayon and I held my piece of paper up and I just rubbed it on its side to pick up the texture of each different thing on my piece of paper. And I'm going to show you how I did that right here. Okay, so now that I have some different textures that I found, I am going to draw a picture of a landscape, which just means a picture of anything outside. So I'm going to do some hills and maybe a tree, and then I'm going to use those different textures I found to fill in the spaces of my hills and my tree. So I'm going to show you that on here, how you can draw a really simple landscape and then how we can fill it in with some textures that we have around our house. So I'm going to start out with my foreground, which is this right here at the front. And I'm gonna put just some blades of grass on my foreground, which just means the thing that's closest to me in my picture is gonna be some grass. And then right behind the grass, I'm gonna make a few hills. So I'm just gonna make some curved lines to look like my hills. And I think on this hill I'm going to have a little tree coming out of my hill. So I'm going to draw my tree trunk. It's going to have some branches that go off of it. And then I'm going to draw the leaves of my tree. And it might go off my page, that's okay. Okay, and now I think in my background, I'm gonna add some clouds. They might go behind my tree, and I might add a smaller tree back here. If I make the tree smaller, it'll look like it's further away than this bigger one. Okay, so that's just an easy way to draw your landscape. And the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in with my crayon. It kind of works better if your crayons are peeled, like these that don't have any paper on them. But if all you have is ones with paper, you can use that too, it's fine. 
and I'm gonna add some of these textures from around my room to my drawing. <laughs> 